Convair B-58 Hustler, America's first supersonic bomber. Length, 96 feet 9 inches. Wingspan, 56 feet 10 inches. Gross weight, 163,000 pounds. Flight time to date, over 500 hours. 10% of this was logged at supersonic speeds. A rigid flight test program for the B-58 has been sounding out the potentials of this new weapon and to date, the Hustler has been faring well as it continues to establish new flight records and to meet its design requirements. Major flight test accomplishments have included such things as takeoff at design gross weight, achievement of design speed, sustained supersonic flight for a period of one hour, 31 minutes, achievement of sustained flight at Mach 2.14, and operation of the airplane at an altitude of 68,390 feet. One of the more recent flight test milestones was the aerial refueling of airplane number two from a KC-135. This occurred on 11 June 1958 and represented the first aerial refueling of a B-58. Flight compatibility of the two aircraft had been demonstrated earlier in three simulated refueling runs, so the actual refueling operation itself was routine. The highlight of the flight test program to date came on 20 December 1957. On that day, the supersonic B-58, flying at an altitude of 42,200 feet, accomplished its first Mach 2 pod release. This represented achievement of pod release at design speed and demonstrated conclusively that there are no separation problems at Mach 2. Motion of the pod after release was characterized by a slight pitch nose down, pitch nose up, and then a damping of the transient oscillation. No apparent yaw oscillation occurred. The ensuing trajectory characteristics were as predicted. Additional drops at speeds up to Mach 2 have completed the separation part of the pod flight test program. Further drops will be primarily performed for the purpose of obtaining ballistic characteristics. The increasing tempo of B-58 flight testing was evident in a recent exercise called Operation Whirlwind, during which the B-58 made 11 flights in 10 working days, averaging 3 hours, 35 minutes per flight. Total flight time for this operation was 37 hours. Total supersonic time was three hours and five minutes. Average time between flights was a little over 20 hours. The airplane made five maximum weight takeoffs during this exercise and went supersonic on all 11 flights, demonstrating that the B-58, America's first Mach 2 bomber, is a hustler.